joining Treasure Metals in 2011, in January 2011, I saw a project that other people had perhaps overlooked. But when I had a second look at this project, I saw a project that is located in perhaps the best infrastructure in Canada, if not the world. I saw a project that had the potential to grow to two million ounces and beyond. And I also saw a project because of where it comes to surface and because it is at surface and you can walk up and put your hand on, on the project itself, I saw a project that had the potential of becoming Canada's next gold mine. People frequently ask us what makes this project unique. One of the key features of this project is that we have a very high grade. When we look at the uh, life of the mine, we're going to average at least three grams per ton going into our mine. Other key differentiating factors are the excellent infrastructure around the site. We've got natural gas and power readily available. The Trans-Canada Highway is only two kilometers away. And we also have a major rail line that's also uh, in very close proximity to the site. The geology in northwestern Ontario is really so compelling because this is such an underexplored portion of the country. Historically, the region uh, has been known for Gold Corp's world-class Red Lake deposit to the north of us here, but more uh, recent success stories include Rainy River, Coventry Resources, and ourselves, who are all targeted as near-term near producers in the region. In Treasure Metals, we started the permitting process back in November of 2012. And the mine permitting process, the way it works here in Canada, is quite unique compared to anywhere else in the world. It's a very stringent process. We have to make sure that we complete all our studies, all our environmental impact statements, and mitigate any issues that we do have in the project to the best of our ability, very professionally. The idea up here mm -hmm. is that there's uh, there is some low-lying areas. So are we actually going to take the samples from there and we run them through the lab then? When the mine is up and running, we'll be producing about 100,000 ounces a year or about 260 to 280 ounces a day. We should be able to achieve those production rates with a capex of approximately $100 million. The blue sky potential for treasure metals is really quite high future exploration programs will focus on further delineating the, the newly discovered high-grade C-zone shoot. Uh, we also recently acquired a, a, a new property uh, directly to the east along strike of the currently defined resource and this will certainly be uh, uh, a high priority target for us going forward. The next milestones for the company there are several. Uh, we need to complete what's called a feasibility study across the project. Uh, we expect that to be completed sometime in the first and second quarter of 2014, it's underway now. Uh, we need to also put in place what's called an environmental impact statement. Uh, again, we're thinking of completing that somewhere in the first and second quarter of 2014. When you put all those things together, great infrastructure, achievable capex, high grade, where it's located in Canada, it makes for a very robust project.